The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Some people told Jesus about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with the blood of their sacrifices. He said to them in reply, Do you think that because these Galileans suffered in this way, they were greater sinners than all other Galileans? By no means. But I tell you, if you do not repent, you will all perish as they did. Or those 18 people who were killed when the tower of Siloam fell on them, do you think they were more guilty than everyone else who lived in Jerusalem? By no means. But I tell you, if you do not repent, you will all perish as they did. And he told them this parable. There once was a person who had a fig tree planted in his orchards. And when he came in search of fruit on it but found none, he said to the gardener, For three years now I have come in search of fruit on this fig tree, but I have found none. So cut it down. Why should it exhaust the soil? He said to him and replied, Sir, leave it for this year also, and I shall cultivate the ground around it and fertilize it. It may bear fruit in the future. If not, you can cut it down. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Everyone is given a gift according to its measure. And many times I have said this, that is why you should never compare yourselves with others. We are not equal, whether you like it or not. Some were given more, others were given much. But because of your giftedness, there are expectations that will be demanded from you. Those who were given much will be required much. Those who were given more will be required more. But what is the gospel in the readings trying to tell us? Whatever that you receive, whatever gifts you have, it was given that you may build the body. That you may build the body. Going back, to the book of Genesis, everything that God has created, it was created for a purpose, and they are all good. They are all good. Walang ginawa ang Diyos na masama. Marahil, ang kawalan ng pangangasiwa ng tao ang naging dahilan kung bakit ang mga ito ay naging masama. The lack of good stewardship. But it's good to look into ourselves, our own giftedness. What have you done with it? Every time we try to examine ourselves, it's good to ask two questions. What have you become? And what others have become because of you? Ano nangyari sa iyo? Anong nangyari sa bihayang pinagkalob sa ng Diyos? At dahil dyan, ano ang nangyari sa ibang tao? ng dahil sa iyo. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, the gift that was given to you is not for you alone to indulge, but to help the body to grow. And what is the gospel trying to tell us? Is it because people die this way, they are more sinful? As I've said, you should never compare yourself. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, look at this. Everything you have 
was given to build the body. Everything you have was given to build the body. Keep that in your mind. Keep it, repeating it to yourselves. Everything you have to build, not to destroy. If you are given a wife, a husband, you are given the privilege to build a body. But if you are the reason for others, for their division, for their pain, then you will be held more accountable before God. What you have, kaya nga madalas ko yung sinasabi, kung hindi ikaw ang dahilan ng kasayahan ng ibang tao, hari naway hindi ikaw ang dahilan ng kanilang kalungkutan. Kung hindi ikaw ang dahilan ng kanilang kalusugan, hari nawa hindi ikaw ang dahilan ng kanilang pagkakasakit. Kung hindi ikaw ang dahilan ng kanilang pagyaman, sana hindi ikaw ang dahilan ng kanilang kahirapan. Because you were created for a purpose to build the body. Every day, we have to ask ourselves, what are my contribution in making my family a better family today than yesterday? The goal is to make ourselves better today than yesterday. But that betterness should make the body a better body today than yesterday. A husband should constantly ask the question, what have I made to make my wife a better woman today than yesterday? A parent should constantly ask the question, what have I made to make my children better today than yesterday? For those who have been going to church, for those who have been baptized, we have to constantly ask ourselves, what have I contributed to make the church a better church today than yesterday? My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, you are not made healthy for yourself. You are made healthy for the body. If you are blessed in whatever way, if you are given long life compared to many, keep this in mind. All grace were given to build the body. To build the body. Remember the words of the Holy Father. No rivers drink its own water. No rivers drink its own water. Whatever grace you receive, it is always for the purpose of building the body. Amen. Tomorrow, fourth Sunday of the month, we pray in a special way for the souls of all our dearly departed. As I always say, write their names in a piece of paper so that when I ask you to remember their names, you will not rely on your memories. As we grow older, our memories become poorer. So write them so that it can easy for you to, to remember their names. And what we, will do, what we will be doing tomorrow for the repose of the souls of our dearly departed is what we will be doing in all our masses this coming November. From November 1 to the eve of Christ the King, we will pray in a special way for the repose of the souls of our dearly departed. Perhaps this is the only time or the first time for many of you to do it. Then let's us do it. Ano pa? Yung iba kasi magsusulat lang ng pangalan ng ng yumao sa sobre at ihuhulog lang doon sa box at nakalimutan na. Ano po? Going back to what I've said, my dear friends, my brothers and sisters, everybody were given a grace. Everybody were given a gift. And that gift is given 
that we may build the body. That's why we have to constantly ask ourselves, what have I become and what others have become because of me? Learn, perhaps, from the words of the Holy Father, no rivers drink its own water. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.